so good morning today i am starting with some seed sowing so what i've done is i've bought if i can pick it up some of this Rocco cocoa coir stuff so you've got to soak it in water so down here i've got the required amount of water I'm going to put it in and let it absorb up the water for a while. Then I'm going to mix it with some of my compost so that for seed starting it goes further because the seeds don't need lots of nutrients first thing. It's only when you put them on and then they, you know, once they've got their true leaves that they need good food to help them grow. So let's see how it goes. Now the instructions tell me to mix it in the bag that it comes with, but because I've got a big tub, I'm using that instead. So, there we go. And that will just gradually, over the next half hour or so, soak up all the water. What I'm also doing today is potting up my dahlias that I bought from Wilco's because they were pretty. But what I'm doing is I'm putting them into pots, putting them in compost so they're totally covered, but I'm not going to water them yet. Give it another few weeks, then I'll start watering them to kind of wake them up, but uh, not yet. I just... I don't want them going soft in the house. So hopefully putting them in the compost but not watering will be okay. We'll see. Well that's all the dahlias uh, potted up. They're not in cocoa coir, they are just in the normal compost. I've not watered them. So we'll see. Let's see how they go. So I've now mixed the cocoa coir and a, one bag of compost uh, together. Let me show you. So this is what I've got. The ready colour is the cocoa coir and the dark colour is the compost. So it was a 50 litre bag of compost and the cocoa coir was supposed to make, I think, 40 litres. Let me just check the packet. Yep. It makes up to 40 litres. So I think that should be right for the seed sowing. Uh, and if I don't get to pot it on straight away, once the seeds come up, it won't be too bad. So what I've just sown, mussel burr leek, an elephant leek in here. I've just sprinkled them over. And what I will do now is sprinkle a little bit of compost on top, just to cover them up a little bit. And that's all they need. I'll give them a bit more of a water and then just leave them in a propagator. Probably because they don't, I, I don't think they need the heat. I'll leave them out here in a propagator with a lid on, just in the greenhouse. So let me show you the brassicas I've sown um, and just a little bit of everything. I've sown them in here using two of these big trays and then numerous little ones. Labelled them all up, giving them small water and now I'm going to put panes of glass on here to work as a cloche to give them extra warmth to get them going. So I've sown kawabi 
Early Purple Sprout and Broccoli, Calex, Brussels Sprouts, um, Nero di Tosco, uh, Kale, what else? Some cabbages, um, cauliflower, broccoli, but I'm not doing like, all my cauliflower, all my broccoli or cabbages at, at once because I don't want them all coming at the same time. So in a couple of months time, I'll sow some more and then hopefully I might get a succession of them, which I've not been very good at in the, in the past. Let's see how it goes. So I've just sown my aubergine, bell peppers and long Romano peppers. Um, I'm going to take this into the house and then put it in my heated propagator. So under here I've got swede, I've got pak choy, I've got lettuce and that's the leeks. So I haven't sown radish and I haven't sown anything like tomatoes, sweet corn, squash plants or those hot ones. And I still haven't yet sown my flowers so I need to crack on with the flower seeds that are quite early. So I think that'll do for today. Thanks for watching, bye for now.